Hi guys, welcome to my video and I will show you how I export my XGen hair to Unreal Engine 5 using my script. First of all, let me show you how official documentation of Unreal Engine describes this process. They say that first you need to convert your XGen descriptions to interactive groom. Then export and re-import it back to Maya to assign all the necessary attributes for a Lambic file, which will be later used in Unreal Engine. What my script does, it actually uh, consists of the buttons, which replicate all the steps described in Unreal Engine's documentation and automates the process. To start the script, just go over to the script editor and drag the script into the Python tab. Select everything and press the play button. You can also install the script into your shelf by holding Ctrl key and dragging it into the shelf. To use this script, first select the head mesh of your character. I'm using MetaHuman's head, this one, to assign the UV roots attributes to your groom. Select the descriptions. Script automatically detects the exchange descriptions that you have in your file and converts them to interactives groom. The next step is to rebuild our interactive groom. It smoothes the hair spline without adding additional CV points. After that, we are creating guides. To assign guide attributes, the script converts XGen guides to curves and then exports it with our Alembic file. The next step is to process our descriptions. It's the step where we're exporting our interactive grooms and importing them back to Maya as NERP curves. As you can see, after some time, uh, we are imported back our groom as NERP curves and now we are ready to assign UV attributes. The next step is to assign groups to our groom. We will just assign different IDs to different descriptions and it will assign different groups to our groom. And we are ready to do the final export. Now let's bring our groom to Unreal Engine 5. Please first make sure that you have these plugins installed, which is a Lambi Groom Importer and Groom. Now just bring your Groom into the Unreal Engine. Depending on your Maya scene settings, you would need to apply transform values for your Groom during the import process. These are my values, you can copy it and test for yourself. The next thing what we should do is to create the binding for a Groom. Right click on the Groom asset and create binding. Select the face mesh of your MetaHuman and push create. And save. Now we will assign this our custom groom to our MetaHuman. Just go to the hair component and plug our new groom and its binding asset to our MetaHuman. And press compile and save. You can also change the material for your groom by assigning it here. Let me quickly show the settings for our Groom asset. Here you can see that in the physics tab we have 
two groups which we assign with our ID attribute and we can enable simulation only for one of them. We can also change the hair width for only for one group or we can change the hair tip scale and other settings are available for us to change in the steps. Thank you for watching guys and I hope my script will save you a lot of time. Please feel free to ask me questions in the comments below.